Cool that great kid, today we're going to show you another one of our favorite games, Blocus. Mm-hmm, Blocus Trigon actually. So, standard Blocus has little squares right? that make up the pieces. Blocus Trigon has triangles. So when yeah. I went to get this, this one looked cooler. Um, the idea okay. is you have 22 Blue. pieces. All the pieces are made up of either one or two or three, four or five, or six triangles clumped together. So you have about a dozen that are six triangles, a few fives, a couple fours, and then three, two, one. Right? And uh, just one single. Correct, a single triangle. Yeah. So the way it works is... You start out, there's six little like indented triangles One, that you'll two, see. Three, Everybody three, starts there and moves to the inside. The idea is to lay all your pieces down. So in general, you want to try and put down as many large pieces as quick as you can so that you're left with littler pieces that in theory are easier to get rid of. Now, the cool thing about this, I'll, I'll put it in the description. So if you want to go, there'll be a link to buy it. But um, I'll also put a link to the one, the video we just did on Quirkle. Quirkle has enough strategy that you can pretty much almost always if you're really thinking hard outwit someone else with this it's so hard to factor in the numerous ways the different pieces someone could lay and this person and that person and it's your turn you almost can't fight that kind of strategy you need to think a thousand moves ahead so because of that we will routinely like i win amber wins Bodie wins so it's pretty much a free-for-all so that's really fun um now, originally, we used the entire board, and now you can probably see the Sharpie line going around the perimeter just for one set of blocks the whole way. Right here, and mm -hmm. you can't get it off. Yeah. It's designed for that. Correct. And so in the instructions, it said if you wanted more difficult gameplay, eliminate that outermost perimeter, and right? here's the board. Mm-hmm. We haven't played with this yet. We're not, I think we're going to play with this after the video. Correct, we'll play a my, game. Using my dad, just place these off here. Correct, I wanted to show them off. And uh, so basically, the cool thing about this is that, again, everything has to be touching uh, contiguous. So contiguous isn't a line. Contiguous just means like leaves scattered in your yard kind of thing. But must be corner to corner. Sides cannot touch. So you couldn't have this touch like that because that would be illegal because a side would touch a side. Wait, illegal? Like if you did it in a game? And the cops all you were arrested. Exactly. The game police would get you. <laughs> so. You're joking. Yes. I would be the game police and I wouldn't allow it. It's got to be corner to corner. Can't be side to side. But you can see that you can have three different colors all come together in one spot because of the points. And so you yeah. try to move out and you, jump you through can't people's let, defenses. You can't let one color touch the same. Uh, you can't let one color, color touch sides but you can let our colors you can't let different colors touch sides correct so yeah so like you could have a big yellow flat laid against that blue one and that would work yeah. but that's about it it's really cool it is a very fun yeah. game again okay. a neat one i haven't seen that much mm -hmm. so pick it up it'll get your brain working still have a good time and really levels the playing field because it's so hard to factor all the different optional moves in I would recommend trace that outer perimeter though because that makes it a lot more fun because now only probably 50% of the time the winning person lays all their pieces. So you really got to think and plot and scheme and try to do it. So you got them, bud? Yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe!